This is how the components are wired up. I placed the, the PWM and also the speed controller inside this box. I add a meter to monitor the voltage and also the current draw. And I have to clean up the bottom here. Then I flatten a sheet of a PVC pipe and cut it into the shape. And uh, the goal is trying to use it. Now this is a controller. I use the double-sided tape, multiple layers. And you can also try to use something like this. Because of this capacitor, which is uh, above the heat plate, I have to place the, this device sideways, that is underneath here. So the capacitor will be showing here. This is a thermal grease, so I'm going to spread the thermal grease onto the does it work? Oh yeah. Oh, it's not easy. <sighs> Two. Put the things in the right place. Now I slide in. And it's about the right place. And it's about the right place. And I will push this one down. Okay. More or less right place now. Next is I have to put this one in. Get this screw cool here. So you can see here on the side it's clear the end there. on the other side okay and I'm going to bend this guy here a little bit and also this one bend a little bit keep it in the right place now to get a Nice and working. 10 gauge wire is too rigid. When I bind it into a bundle, it is still too rigid when compared with the speaker wire, which is a lot more flexible, easier to handle.
could do weak headway. So this is how the whole setup is. Just run and see it works. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I have many other videos on my channel. Hope you find them interesting too. Thanks and see you again. Bye bye.